What's good, YouTube? Welcome back to the channel. Welcome to the channel if you are new. As you see today, we are reacting to Sunny V2's How the Baby Became the Most Hated Rapper Ever. Uh, you'd be lying to yourself if you didn't say the baby was kind of on a decline. Is If it's warranted or not, it's not up for me to decide. We're just here to get the facts of everything. Um, make sure you guys like, share, subscribe to the channel. Original video will be linked down below in the description, so check that out. Follow me on TikTok. Follow me on IG. I'm not going to do that too much talking. That too much talking. Wow. I'm not going to do too much talking. Let's go ahead and get into the video. Baby Comment down below who your favorite rapper is. Most uh, let's rewind that. The baby has slowly become the internet's most hated rapper. What did he do to earn this title? Pineapples. Well, his actions range from insulting fans to getting angry at flight attendants. However, the very first thing that began to turn to baby's audience against him was the time he'd get into a beef with kids YouTuber Jojo Siwa. The argument began after Debbie composed that. a song titled Beatbox Freestyle in which oh, he maybe see what and call her a bunch of nasty names the snippet was instantly go. shared okay, to twitter really. where it gained over a million views and 42,000 likes on a post reading what tf did jojo siwa do that made dababy mad like that while some joked about dababy calling her out <coughs> over a height insecurity most were simply baffled that dababy would target a kids youtuber she's literally a child kind of out of line to be honest yo that is funny AF. That. he really came for a whole kid which accompanied a post by james charles reading can someone please explain why dababy is dissing jojo siwa when she's 12 years younger, 10 times richer, and 2 inches taller than him. God now, damn, they had absolutely James. no business in responding to these comments, as Whoa. they weren't really even criticism. A lot of the responses were supportive, such as, I don't think he meant nothing of it, probably just needed something to say, and the others were simply surprised that DeBaby went there, which is literally how DeBaby described his own. I agree. Whenever that came out, I don't think he was like this in JoJo. I think it was just like, and branding. You know, I'm a line, say, bro. I can't believe he said that. However, despite also stating that he wasn't the just got to respond to things online. When it's said outside of music and I'm expected to respond and clear it up without using music, that ain't what I do. It'd still take to Twitter to squash the drama in a post reading at It's Jojo Siwa. My three-year-old princess is your number one fan. Yeah, I bought her every product you have out, she thinks she you. Don't let him trick you into thinking I'd ever have a problem with you. My wordplay just went over their heads. All love on my end, shorty, keep shining. Now, the baby's response was actually pretty decent. But since he never needed to respond in the first place, all it did was show everyone that he was paying attention to the drama and was unable to stay silent if he was criticized too heavily. In the lead up to this tweet, the baby had established a reputation as a kind of hardcore gangster rapper, and to be on Twitter justifying why he made a diss on a kid's YouTuber felt kind of inauthentic to his image. The baby stated in an interview that he's doing his own thing yeah. and is not really caught up in any of the internet drama. I'm just doing me, like, I'm yeah. not even really caught up in what I got going on. Yet in a different interview, he contradicts this by stating that he's willing to change his opinions if the internet criticism becomes too harsh. It's about how much you value others' opinions well, on it, damn it, or just, you know, people's opinion around you. I don't value it until it get to messing with my money. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Okay, cool. You know, mm -hmm. now, now you probably need to take heed to that, you know, make some adjustments. While this is certainly a more mature approach, maturity is rarely what people it's are looking for in music and entertainment. Okay, but what do y'all, what do y'all, like, honestly expect him to draw the line of? I shouldn't respond to this and all right this is this is getting out of hand let me say something like either dim it down a little bit or like the show my perspective what i'm really trying to say I could be wrong about this, but it often feels as though the personality of the person making the music is just as important as the music itself. And when it That's comes true. to hardcore rap, people want to follow the completely unapologetic gangster as opposed to the person who's known for responding to criticism on Twitter. This, this JoJo thing is like his response to the Rolling Loud controversy, which happened only four months is? after the incident with JoJo Siwa. Is this the whilst on stage, the baby would imply that people yeah. with HIV. Were this was this was crazy. This was wild, bro. And this is when I saw you kind of you. I mean, I'm saying you like you probably watching the video. But this one I seen like the baby. Ah, oh, my camera. Come on now. Don't do this right now. Don't do this right now. Don't do this right now. I'm talking shit. Any, I'm just gonna play the video. <coughs> Welcome at his shows, and since the event was being streamed online, the internet began to discuss the comments. Y'all get it? Y'all know what I was about now, to say. Now, as though. mentioned in other videos, if DeBaby had simply stayed silent on the criticism, the problem would have disappeared. However, just like the JoJo Siwa controversy, nah, nah, he felt the need nah. to clarify his position with a public statement. Nah, he addressed this one time. And I'm gonna get back to giving my love to my fans. See what I'm saying? Because what me and my fans do at the live show, it don't concern you. It's not y'all business. What I do at a live show is for the audience. 
at the live show. It'll never translate correctly to somebody looking at a little five, six second clip on their phone. It just don't work like that. This Instagram live. See, I, I I disagree. I'm sorry, I'm pausing a lot, but whatever, y'all y'all here to watch the reaction. But see, um, I disagree right here. He should have responded to this. The JoJo thing, maybe he should just like, oh, whatever. I know what I meant. Blah blah blah. But this, what he said here was crazy, bro. It was you know, this was crazy. More people discovering what he. Had I mean, said. he didn't really he apologize. So celebrities such as Elton John, Madonna, and Dua Lipa were stating on Instagram Rockin that they were surprised and horrified at the baby's comments. The baby stated that he okay, wasn't worried at man. any point during the Rolling Loud controversy. Were you kind of scared, like how everyone was like trying nah, to cancel you and shit like that? Nah, I was we'll scared. Was probably my problem. However, this is a complete contradiction to his actions because if he wasn't scared, he wouldn't feel the need to take to Twitter. Twitter and apologize, which is what he would do after the Instagram live stream. I want to apologize to the LGBTQ plus community for the hurtful and triggering comments I made. Again, I apologize for my misinformed comments about HIV slash AIDS, and I know education on this is important. Going back to the problem of authenticity, DeBaby would go on to state that he didn't even agree with his own apology. Even though, you know, I'm... I I don't agree with it, you feel me? Like, you know, if, if this the example that gotta be made of this told me to go through, you feel me? Bro, what the fuck is happening? Dude, I'm with it. And that he only put it oh, out oh, because that is- Hold on, hold on, because it's like- No, you know, I'm, I don't I don't agree with it, you feel me? Like, you my know, shit is if, if this the example that gotta be made, if this what God want me to go through, you feel me? For whatever reason, let's do it, I'm with it. And that he only put it out because at a certain level, you have to move in a different way. You get to certain levels in it, you know, you gotta make adjustments, you know what I'm saying? And, and move a certain way, it's simple, you know? Ironically, he's talking to Charlemagne who wrote a book on how living an authentic life is the quickest path to success, which is something that DeBaby himself highlighted as the reason behind why he's been so it's successful. Like, fuck. What makes you different? Nah, man, I'm like, just why do you me. have that drive? You know yeah. what I'm saying? Like, I'm just me. Yet going Sorry. back on his own Sorry statements camera, and posting insincere apologies was the opposite to being his authentic, brutal rapper image. As a rapper, somebody who can speak freely, and I'm not one do all that hard work day in day out make all these sacrifices get there just to be controlled like a puppet you know what i'm saying like that ain't how i get out now it didn't seem like the baby actually had that chain hard until he called out anybody mm -hmm. from the lgbtq community any of that bro i am not tripping on y'all i ain't never had an issue with none of y'all it wasn't directed <laughs> to no group of people in particular and nothing like that like it really hold on hold on hold on hold on hold on hold on because my shit is just i'm gonna I'm cut this out because it, it's just messing up now and i'll be i'll be back Bro, I am not tripping on y'all. I ain't never had an issue with none of y'all. It wasn't directed to no group of people in particular or nothing like that. Like, it really ain't that deep at all to me. However, because he blew the whole thing up with a bunch of his own social media attention, the brands he was working with began to drop him one by one. Fashion brand Boohoo publicly ended their relationship Boohoo. with him. Lollapalooza Boohoo dropped him the lineup on the very last day of the festival, citing their founding values of diversity, inclusivity, respect, and love. The Governor's Ball Music Festival, set to take place in Ember announced that DaBaby would not be performing as part of their lineup. UK event Parklife cut him from the roster, though the rapper's team claims that the decision was made months before Rolling Loud. The team behind Day Night Vegas replaced his set list with bruh. that of Roddy Rich. Even the Working Families Party quickly removed him from the list of celebrity performers. If, uh... And on the Full Send podcast, DaBaby explained that he was set to release his own meal at Burger King, which was also cancelled as a result of. I mean, Burger King sucks, so. You probably dodged a bullet right there. I ain't gonna, I ain't gonna lie to Controversy. you. Controversy. I had my own meal at Burger King. A lot of people don't know that. It was called the Jonathan Kirk meal. They wanted to use my name. I shot a commercial board and everything. They had my name on the box, everything. Did it like come they out? Had me. No, 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 no. That's when all the controversy. In a different interview, DaBaby gave a dollar figure for how much his comments had cost him. I had $30 million worth of shows on the schedule before December 31st. I was gonna buy my private plane, but it is what it is. It go how it go. You know, God didn't want me to have my plane yet. He's like, hold on, yeah. man, just chill. And while DaBaby clearly took the loss in a very mm. respectful manner this seemingly did mm, little to I mean, repair his reputation I mean, as after being invited back to Damn. roll out six months later the crowd threw drinks at him however the worst part about the controversy was from that point <laughs> onwards the baby was great on twitter for almost anything he'd do for example people brought up the time where he'd attack a fan at a club for putting a flashlight in his face I remember resulting this. in another apology video i do but that's apologize and keep in mind i couldn't see you accompanying another bizarre clip of him being rejected whilst trying to kiss that a this fan was <laughs> also warranted some kind of strange Instagram response to the event. And he just can't make a mistake after mistake after right. mistake. 
after mistake, after mistake. There was also the time where he'd make what seemed to be a satirical tweet stating that he was voting for Kanye, which warranted responses such as, waste, I can't believe you're even promoting this. Baby, you got too big of a platform to be tweeting this nonsense. Bruh, you're not even eligible to vote, which accompanied a different Damn. more recent video where he'd get angry at a flight attendant for not combing her hair. We gonna pay all that for that flight, you gonna comb your hair. Straight up, they nah, don't. We gonna pay all that. You go home, you hit the least you could do. This is probably part of the reason why the baby believes that social media can become a negative thing once you reach a certain size. But at some point, I think like it may be safer for you not to use it as much because you can become overexposed. But the real question is, how has this affected the performance of his music? Well, his latest Brody, album released you? in September 2022, which was titled Baby on Baby 2, sold only 16,000 units in its first week, which is 87% less than Baby on Baby 1, which sold 125. Yeah. 4,000 units in its first week. The music video for one of the songs on his new album titled Boogeyman features five different people, one of which being an obviously gay person, and throughout the video everyone is killed besides the gay guy before the oh baby daps him up at the end, says I ain't got a problem with you, and once again apologizes for the rolling loud comments. The whole thing just feels extremely performative and insincere, with this clear attempt at avoiding controversy only resulting in more controversy. Because Bruh. alongside his new album's release, the release, he <laughs> announced that he had to cancel one of his shows after selling only 500 tickets to a venue which seated 14,000. Going to a DaBaby concert because I need some alone time and I know no one else will be there. If I put all my followers in a room and sang a little song to them, then I'd have a more <laughs> successful concert that Bro, hold on. 14,000. <laughs> Going to a DaBaby concert because I need some alone time and I know no one else will be there. If I put Yo. all my followers in a room and sang a little song to them, then I'd have a more successful concert than DaBaby. Yo. DaBaby concert was lit. However, to DaBaby's credit, he's taken his setbacks quite humbly, having replied to his lower album sales by stating, not bad for the blackballed baby. There are a lot of people who have covered in the past that are clearly deserving of their poor reputations. Yo, but you could argue yep, that DaBaby yeah, isn't really one of them. He's a hard worker with a library of incredible incredibly well-made music, yet he's been unable to keep his mouth closed on controversial topics, which only compounds when you compromise your integrity and change your personality to suit whatever the audience wants you to be. Yeah. On, so basically, Catch every game with two Bud and so basically he's not himself. That's what, that's what you're saying, Sonny Me Too. He, he's acting how we want him to act or blah, how he thinks we want him to act, et cetera, et cetera. I mean, like I said, the, the whole Rolling Loud thing, that's wild. And that's when I feel like he, he started to decline. That, that was crazy, bro. And I don't understand why it was said either. I wouldn't have to show, but still, bro, uh, that's crazy. And then the apology, half ass and like i said he didn't even bleed in his own apology or whatever whatever it was said uh i don't know if you're the baby fan out there don't take this personal i'm just a youtuber i'm just filming a video i don't have beef with the baby i don't hate the baby yada 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 i have nothing to do with the baby or y'all so if you're in the comments and saying some wild shit i mean whatever um make sure you guys like share subscribe to the channel link to the original video will be linked down below in the description Follow me on TikTok, follow me on IG, and I'll see you guys next time. Appreciate you. Peace. I need to do with the baby.